Hey folks, welcome back to KKR Renewables. It's been a while since I've put a video out. I've been busy taking apart a ton of routers that I got from a telecommunications swap out upgrade. And I've been painstakingly taking off as many of these chips as I possibly can so that I can recover the, the gold bonding wires from them. There are underneath here, in case you're wondering, there are gold corner VGAs. Um, but anyway, the point of this video is, how do you know that there's actually gold there? The, really, the only way to tell is to burn it, crush it up, and check it out under a microscope or a loop, which I've done here for you. Um, I've been taking these long, dual-sided IC chips off of all of these boards. I just take my, my chisel and a hammer lay them against the side there and just pop them off. Um, doesn't take very long per chip, uh, but I've had 98 or so of these. Um, so I've, I've, done a, I've taken off a lot of these. Um, so far, what I've gotten is this bag of chips. And you can see in there um, the, longer, the longer IC chips. All right, I'm back. So my battery died. <clears throat> I just needed to, to go recharge it real quick. So anyway, like I was saying, these long, um, these long IC chips that I've been collecting in this bag, along with some, some other IC chips, these chips contain either aluminum or silver bonding wires. I'll show you that here in a second. These chips, <clears throat> these chips contain gold bonding wires. I have not seen a gold corner BGA yet that does not have gold bonding wires in them. So that's really good there. Um, just some other things I take off of this board. These resistors all have silver on them. These gold rimmed oscillators all have gold and silver inside them. Um, I'm going to take all these little copper windings as well. Copper values have been fluctuating. It was just near, um, it was just recently over five bucks a pound. So um, I do take those as well. All right, so that's it for this video. Um, I will flip over now and I'll show you the microscope view of these bonding wires. All right, everybody, good luck scrapping. Here you can see in the lower portion of the picture the crushed up, long, slender, rectangular, two-sided flat pack. There are aluminum bonding wires in this IC chip. The crushed up chip on top is from the rectangular shaped two-sided flat pack that I pointed out earlier as well. This one has gold bonding wires and the ones that are long and slender that I was pretty excited about, those only have aluminum bonding wires. So I'm no longer gonna take those off of the boards in the future. All right, folks, that's it for this short video. Please remember to like and subscribe. I really appreciate your view and I really appreciate your comments. Hope everybody has a great day.